Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is C4 Destroyer from Review Dork, and today I will be going over how to use the Game DVR feature on the Xbox One app. This allows you to record over two minutes of gameplay as needed. If you want to, you know, pretty much record a whole entire session, you can definitely do that. Um, and this is the workaround without using Upload Studio. Uh, if you've seen in my prior videos, you'll see I did a video on Upload Studio, but there are restrictions to that software uh, where you can only record up to 30 minutes max um, and edit and do 15 segment clips so that did kind of restrict us but if you are looking to completely um, upload all of your gameplay footage let's say you had a great night and you want to show all that how you did in one night you know two hours maybe a little bit less I will go over that and how to do it right through the Xbox one and the Xbox app what you will need is obviously your Xbox one an internet connection and also a uh, PC to link the Xbox one with the PC and be able to stream that directly I'll go over all that and give you more details right after the break Okay, so um, the first thing we want to do is have our settings set up so we can actually stream from the Xbox to the PC. Um, so the first thing we want to do is go into our settings and then go down to preferences and then go to Xbox app connections. So um, what you want to do is actually keep allow connections from any device. Um, you can do it from only profile signed in on this Xbox if you'd like. Um, but, you know, this is a secured network. You have to have an actual code to get into this uh, home network. So I'll just leave it at allow connections from any device. You really don't have to mess with that too much. The next setting you want to make sure that's uh, squared away is the uh, game DVR and streaming setting. So you have to uh, uh, make sure this box is checked. Allow broadcast and game captures. Then allow play to streaming and allow game streaming to other devices. This will allow the Xbox to send a signal to the Xbox. Xbox app without any problems whatsoever. Now that we have the Xbox all squared away and it's set up to communicate to our PC through the Xbox app, uh, one suggestion that was made from Xbox um, and the team is to make sure that the um, Xbox One is wired to the router and also the PC you'll be streaming to is wired to the router uh, just to make sure there's no latency. Um, you know, you'll have other people on the network, I'm sure, uh, unless you have uh, different ports set up. But for the most part, they, were, they, they suggest that you have them both connected to the router. Now, if you'd like, you don't have to. Um, I've actually tried it without. Uh, so it does vary, though, based on your internet connection speeds because everything is going to this router, which I'm sure other people will be using using as well, which messes with your bandwidth. All right, so I'm on the Xbox support website, and what you can see here for you to do the, um, the streaming to your computer, these are the requirements your computer must have. You need at least two gigabytes of RAM to do the streaming, 1.5 gigahertz of CPU fa uh, power or faster, and the best performance, like I said, you want a wired Ethernet connection. Um, for good performance on a wireless network, you want to have it at least at five gigahertz, or at least you know the minimal amount you want is 2.4. So now that we have an idea of what exactly is required and we have our Xbox already set up, let's get into actually doing the game DVR. So now that we have our Xbox One set up and ready to go, we're gonna actually set up the PC to record everything so that when we have that good night, we have the availability to record more than just you know 30 minutes if that. Uh, so we're gonna go into the Xbox One app. And then as it loads up, you want to look on the left hand side, we want to go into settings. Once we go into settings, you got to go into the game DVR section. And this is what you want to remember, the hotkeys. Now I did go over before um, the folder that the captures will be saved at. You can check my other YouTube video in regards to Upload Studio. But if you click this, it'll actually show you the pathway to which the videos and uploads will be saved, whether it be directly from the Xbox app or the game DVR recording. So now we'll just take note in regards to recording. So the uh, start stop recording um, shortcut is Windows Alt R. So we have to press those three keys at the same time in order to start the recording. So our Xbox is actually already set up to record. Now we need our Xbox app to allow that to happen. So next thing we'll do is go to connection. 
right above the settings icon in the Xbox app, it's going to detect what devices are connected to your network. And now we want that to be connected to the Xbox app. Mine is connected here. If you do not find your device, you can simply put your IP address, which you can find on your Xbox One, um, through the settings. And then once you input that, you can hit connect. Mine's is already on the network. It recognizes it. So I hit the connect button, and now it's connected and paired up with it. So the next thing we're going to do, actually, we're going to go into stream. So we're going to hit stream, and it's connecting to my Xbox. And it's going to come up with this prompt saying that there's no controller hooked up. That's fine because we're going to be playing right off the Xbox One. Uh, the, the point of this feature is to actually... Um, allow us to record more than 30 minutes, two hours if needed, if we have a good night. So we're just going to hit continue. And so now it is streaming. It's not recording yet because we haven't hit the keys. So what we want to do again is hit the Windows Alt and R at the same time. You'll see at the bottom right hand side of my screen, it's recording for five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds. So anything that's displayed on my screen, it'll record and it'll continue recording for up to two hours. So if I'm having a good night and I don't want to be restricted to how the recordings are made and how long each clip and I just want to record my entire session, I can. And this will, you know, this will probably um, take a lot of memory out of your hard drive but um, for what it's worth it's worth doing this allows you to record and then upload to YouTube if you have a YouTube channel and it makes your life a lot easier where you don't really need a game capture card I mean at least from your Xbox uh, so that's one of the great things about this feature um, it's like having a capture card in your PC already now the only downfalls is your connection so what you have to worry about is the connection requirements you want to be wired and if you are not wired if you're running everything wirelessly you want to pray that your bandwidth will hold up enough where there won't be any lag or issues showing up on the screen because a game like Titanfall there might be a lot of things going on and from you playing Titanfall to your PC trying to relate that information wirelessly to um, from your Xbox there may be some lag if you don't have those requirements at least the minimum requirements so it can be a hit or miss if your connection is a little bit shoddy but if you have a great connection you know anything over 15 gigabytes up and download you should be perfectly fine and uh, the next thing you want to do um, once you're done with this I'm just gonna hit the Windows all are again to stop the recording now we have to find out where this is uh, we can stop the streaming because we're all said and done we had a great night of gaming and we want to find out where this is at so what you'll do is on the left hand side go to game DVR and there you go it'll show the video that we've just recorded and you can hit play and it'll play what we've been talking about and then uh, if you go all the way to the bottom, you can then click upload. Now, um, one of the tricks here is you probably want to use software to edit your game clips. Uh, if you're knowledgeable and so you know savvy enough to do that, uh, you can use the OBS software that you can Google and you can edit your game clips. Um, if you want to know where your game clips are, you just hit open folder. It'll lead you right where the game clips um, are saved and you can see the pathway there. Um, and then, you know, you just click it open and there it is. Um, and it'll play for you throughout as far as gameplay is concerned. Um, so that, that's a, that's a good thing there. Um, now, as far as your chat, um, I believe in the Xbox app itself, you can link your chat and everything else. You just, uh, you know, you play, you, you put the chat, you know, you open up a chat room here and then, uh, it, it'll record that you can enable it through the stream. So if you look here, while we were streaming, just really quick to touch base on that, on the uh, when you're moving your cursor, you'll see a little drop down come up, and this says unmute chat. Well, thanks to the Xbox and the Xbox app, uh, we're able to actually record up to two hours worth of gameplay footage. So if you had a good night and you don't want to be restricted up to 30 minutes, this is a great option right here. 
Um, what you have is the Xbox communicating to your PC, your PC acting as a capture card and saving that content onto your hard drive space. Um, and then you could ultimately upload that to YouTube. And if you want to edit your game clips, you can do that on OBS. Uh, we have a video on OBS on how to get it. It's free software, uh, video editing software that allows you to edit your game clips, make them look a little bit more enlightening, and then put them on YouTube. Um, overall, I'd say... Uh, Microsoft has done a great job in allowing players and empowering players to share their content in various ways. And uh, this is ultimately one of the best ways I've seen in a long time to um, easily get your game clips from your Xbox directly to your PC, which then you can do whatever you'd like. So um, that's it for me. This is C4 Destroyer from Review Dork. Like, share, subscribe. Hit us up in the comments section. Let us know what you think about this video. If it helps, if you need more information to streaming um, from your Xbox to the game DVR on the PC. I'm out. Peace.